judge. The purpose of this video is to help you not be prejudiced and when you're not prejudiced you can actually make a lot of money. So I'm not the most articulate person. You know if you follow me you know I don't um, rehearse my stuff. It just comes straight from the heart when I think about something that needs to be put out there. So right now what it boils down to is what it boils down to and what it boils down to is I'm here to help you. And I know you didn't expect because you probably prejudged me you didn't expect me to be the person to help you get to where you want to go in life and have financial independence and things like that. But one thing for sure is, hey, if you hang around me, if you follow me, I can definitely help you get some checks in the mail or direct deposit. I'm a mailbox guy myself. I'm old school. Snail mail. So anyway, here's a quick little story on something that may help you, um, help reinforce you not to prejudge. When I got out of the military, 101st Aviation, Avionics Regiment, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I moved to the Nashville area and I worked at Radio Shack. You know, you got questions, we got answers. Here's what happened. Traffic's pretty bad sometimes. I have this thought, hmm, finish line. It's different. It's different than, you know, working with Radio Shack, kind of technical stuff, computers and gadgets, blah, 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 blah. Let me go over here and, you know, some people say put, wrink put more wrinkles on your brain to make yourself smarter do something different. I go to the finish line, I put it in my application. I noticed right off the bat the lady was kind of prejudging me and maybe a week or so went by and she hadn't contacted me back. Well I knew because the story is right there that she had went through a couple of people that did not work out for her. So I hit her back, hey when can I get my interview? Long story short, she finally interviews me. She doesn't have the decency or, or respect or expectation that I'm going to work out so she interviews me on a bench. She doesn't even interview me in the store. She could have interviewed me in the storage room or something. At least it would have been some type of respectful expectation. But she, you know, she's all postured up and everything, interviewing me on the little bench outside the store in the mall and tells me all the expectations that I'm supposed to, you know, do in order to have a successful, you know, job or career there or whatever. So thankful. Thankfully, I had been to Brit school, hey, and uh, I also paid attention in Brit school. So, I asked the lady, I said, well, okay, I'm supposed to do this, 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 and this, and everything's going to be cool, right? Great. I said, well, let me ask you this. Um, who's going to be training me and, you know, giving me my, my basics for working in a store? And she said, well, I am, initially. So I asked a hard question. I looked at dead in the eye and I said, well, um, do you hit all those numbers? She said, well, of course, yeah, I do. I said, well, great. <laughs> I'm in. Because success is a duplicatable pattern, right? So if you're going to be, you know, showing me how to do it, I'm going to be learning from you. It's a done deal. When do I start? And so that's how you got to be in life to be successful. So I know you didn't expect to, you know, hear or get it from me because you were probably prejudging me based on whatever but it boils down to what it boils down to and it boils down to that I'm right here and I can help you get checks in the mail so if you want to be a stay home mom stay home dad work from anywhere where you have an internet connection get at me Mr. Will alright take care because you know what you don't know what you don't know until somebody shares with you what you don't know right hey so, 864-356-0484, get at me ASAP.